friends, it's Miss Mary. Um, today we're gonna read a story about water. It's called The World of Water by Holly Melton. The picture on this page shows the earth from space. What do you see? A lot of water. Water makes up a huge part of you too. Sorry, you can't live without it. Let's see how water can change forms. Water can become so cold that it freezes into ice and becomes a solid. This river of ice has been frozen, has been here for ages. Can you have fun with water when it is solid? You be the judge. Ice and snow are a lot of fun. These children think it's okay to play in it. Look, they made a snowman, that looks fun. When the warm spring comes, water changes its form again. How does it change? Turn the page to find out. When ice and snow are heated by the sun, they melt. Giant waterfalls of melted snow fall down the mountains. This river is very full. It is nearly overflowing. Water in its liquid form might seem very angry. Look at the pictures on these pages. Can you have fun with water? You be the judge. Oh, this looks like fun. They're playing in the water. And right here, it looks like they might be swimming. It says you can dive into water or stay at its edge. It keeps you cool. Let's learn about one more form of water. Water is important to all living things. When the sprinkler is off, the water on the hedge will be gone too. Is it magic? It's not magic, it's science. Water can change into a gas. How does that happen? Turn the page to find out. When water is heated, it changes into water vapor, a gas. The vapor rises. It is easy to see the vapor from boiling water. It's steam. When water gets really hot, it makes steam. Water can be solid, liquid, or gas. Which form of water does the picture on this page show? I think this is solid. That looks like ice or snow. A rainbow is a colorful bridge in the sky. Do you know what it's made of? Water, wonderful water. Okay friends, that's our story about water. Thank you, bye.